Nolan, thanks for hanging out with me today, getting to spend My some pleasure. more time together. I always love it. So, you know, let's start off with the big one, it being the 50th anniversary. What is it about Atari that make it so eternal? I think we stood for innovation, and also we were the Genesis story. So you always have a hallowed position when you're the first. Yeah. You know, the history of video games is oftentimes the early days of the history of Atari. Yeah, I mean, we, we had no money, <laughs> no factories, no market presence. The only thing we had was, was creativity. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, the beauty and the truth with Atari is that I love this and I enjoy it. What do you think Atari's role is, not just in video games, but in popular culture today? I believe that it succeeded because of creativity. And so I think it has some chops there, you know what I mean? And so I think that we have a lot of power in the Atari legacy and brand that can really propel us forward. Yeah. And when we chose the Fuji logo, I wanted it to be an upward swoosh. It's a collective, it's aspirational. And so right now, it would be good to take the innovation legacy and push it forward into the future. That's right, exactly. I thought I'd show you some of the early business cards. Now, before we named the company Atari, it was known as Syzygy. And so if you see the thing, there's a, it's an S and an A. Look at how hilarious this logo is compared to the Fuji. I mean, perhaps one of the most iconic, yeah. beautiful logos ever made. And then this, which is... Uh, ugly. I, <laughs> it's just I, ugly. I, I wanted you to fill in the blank, but yeah, well... <laughs> it's just ugly. Then we go to this one. This is where I'm chairman. Nice embossed. I thought, yeah. kind of classy, right? I mean, this could be our business card today. That's what's so incredible about this. Well, you know, George Oppenheimer had this vision that was timeless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we have this one. Now, not embossed, but Japanese. Oh. We had Atari Japan, and it was customary to have a Japanese translation on, on your business card. What does the logo mean for you? Well, you know, it, the benefit that I have is I get to come into this 50 years later. There's not a lot of symbols in the world that can carry double meaning. I think the Fuji does. It, it is both timeless and classic and has this feel like it's been there for a long time, like it predates almost its own existence. Right. That's why when you see it in Blade Runner or in Ready Player One, it's an alternative future, but it looks like a future that could be real. Could be real. And that it's not strange because this is a futuristic logo when it was made and still today. So both timeless of the past and of the, of the future. That's what the Fuji means to me. Yeah. Probably the most recognizable logo in video games. Happy accident for me. <laughs> <laughs> On that, what advice would you give me in this position? Schopenhauer always talked about creative destruction and that new innovations often destroy old dominance. And that's what you kind of want to do because you're not going to beat Microsoft at their game. Right. But you can beat them at a game that you own. Yeah. But, you know, compared to some of the your predecessors, I think you've got the right mindset. Thanks, Owen. Yeah. I, I mean, do. I think deep down inside, you're, you're an architect. You want to create something. And the company is your vehicle. Thanks, Nolan. I mean, what do you try for these days in what you're doing? I do think of myself as a builder. I mean, I, I just like the act of building something and, and something sustainable. I think like for me, video games, they were never an escape, but they were this way to experience and interact in the world. And it just unlocked creativity. It unlocked, uh, it unlocked ideas and vocabulary and, and so many things for me. And, and it was just this really beautiful positive experience. Yeah. I think games are connective, communicating to other people. Like I see you, I hear you, like we're in this together and it becomes this, this connected, meaningful, joyful experience 
that is quintessential Atari. Yeah. That's where the Atari games live today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's powerful. <laughs> that's cool. Well, thanks, Nolan. It's My pleasure. Always Good great fun. to see you. Yeah. I really appreciate it.